Hi, I want to wish you a blessed new year. This season, I've got a perfect gift for you. It's my new book titled, The Invitation, or The Call of God. Everyone who comes to this earth has a purpose. Are we here just to build houses? Are we here just to marry? What happens when we die? When you don't have answers to these questions, you can live life with a feeling of emptiness and hollowness. This book will show you why God brought you into this world, what you're supposed to do. Get one for yourself, get one for a friend. It will be a blessing to you. God bless you and have a blessed new year. Place your order on Facebook by posting or messaging the title, Invitation. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakrabaden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakrabaden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra continues his teaching on the subject, greatness. Yesterday, he explained from the life of Job that one of the things that brings greatness is the blessing of God. Today, he reveals the key to greatness using the biblical example of Abraham. This year, we are believing God that's going to be our year of greatness. Luke 22 verse 24, let me read the scripture. There was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. And they that exercise authority over them are called benefactors, that ye shall not be so. Wow. Next verse. He that is greatest among you, let him be as a younger. And he that is chief, as he that serveth. Then 27, he asked them a question. For whether is greater, he that sitteth at meat, or he that serveth? Is not he that sitteth at meat? But I am, um, I am amongst you as he that serveth. Greatness. Our year of greatness. One thing that makes you great is the blessing of God. I want us to read a few scriptures of some people that became great because God blessed them. The second man who enjoyed the blessing of God that became great was Abraham. Genesis 24 verse 35. This is the description of Abraham by his servant to Rebekah's family. The Lord, not the job, has blessed my master greatly and he has become great. So those of you looking for little numbers, forget about it. It's the Lord. He said, my master's greatness, it doesn't come from human beings. He said, it comes from where? The Lord. When it comes from human beings, when those human beings are not there, you are finished. Since one party went into opposition, some people are down. But we thank God. God never goes into opposition. Why don't you put your hands together for Jesus? Never goes into opposition. He's always present. The servant said, he has given him flocks and heads, silver and gold, men servant and me servant, and Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master in his old age. Unto him has he given all that he has. The servant said, Come to our house, you see greatness. God make us great. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned from the life of Abraham that the key to greatness is the blessing of God. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this powerful message. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Marriage proposal at last. Hello, Kakra. You prayed for me some months ago concerning finding a suitable marriage partner. To God be the glory, I now have two men who have proposed to me. I'm currently so confused and need a leading of the Holy Spirit because they are both good men. Never did I ever imagine that this will happen to me too. May God be praised. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 233- 
55790010. Send an email to info at kakrabadian.org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233-2075752215. Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.